Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the fight that's happening next weekend, uh, November the 12th, uh, for the Commonwealth Heavyweight title, and that's between Tyson Fury and Nevem Pajkic. Um, my prediction for this fight is a victory for Tyson Fury. I think he's going to get the stoppage victory. Around the middle rounds, going to go for round 7. Both of these guys are 16 and 0, oh, unbeaten. Uh, both guys, from what I've seen, are flawed. I'm not sold completely on Tyson Fury still. <coughs> um, and, you know, I'm going to discuss briefly um, Pykic's chances and what I think is going to happen. Both of these guys were wobbled in their last fights, respectively. Um, I think Pykic was actually from what I can see, won quite a controversial decision against Johnny White in Canada, and um, we know that Tyson Fury was wobbled by Nikolai Firther before stopping him in the fifth. Um, the prob main main only problem I can see for Tyson Fury in this fight is if you saw him against Nikolai Firther and against Derek Chisora, uh you may see what I saw is that Tyson Fury sometimes struggles against guys who lunge in at him and swing at him. He just tends to get caught um, and wobbled. And although he has shown fight and heart and come through it, that's the main, one of the main problems is his defense in that mode. And one thing that Pykic does do is he, he dives in. He literally dives at you and throws swinging but well punched at you um, when he decides to attack. Um, he likes to sometimes give a bit of la lateral movement, bounce off from one foot to the other and then dive in and just swing. Um, and you know, there's a chance you could catch Fury, could wobble Fury, have a chance of uh, hurting him. But then, some, another thing that's on Fury's side is that Pykic really does lack, really lacks that power. He only has around 30% knockout ratio. And although this is the heavyweights, and we do know in heavyweights it only takes one punch, um, I think he shouldn't be able to uh, trouble Fury that too much, you know, to stop Fury. Um, and also, Pykic is very easy to tie up, so when he does attack you, he's so easy to tie up. Um, you can just, all types of Fury has to do is drape his arms around him and he nullifies the attack. Um, it's fairly easy to do, and something I'm expecting Fury to deal with rather comfortably. Um, but yeah, look out for those diving attacks because they could catch Fury off guard in this one. Um, I'm expecting or I'm I'm looking for Tyson Fury to again have improved on his jab and his using his range. In this one, if he fights behind a jab, um, there's no reason he can't keep this fight at range and really hurt and stop uh, uh, Pykic in a comfortable fashion. Um, but we know with Fury, he lets people get close to him sometimes. He he doesn't really... That's that's the problem I have with him. He doesn't really use the jab to, full, to the effect he can. He can be a bit cumbersome and slow at times, um, but I'm expecting Fury to have improved again. He has plenty of heart. He always gives an exciting fight. Um, I'm guessing this fight is going to be shown again on Channel Five. I'm hoping it is. I'll be watching it if it is. Um, you know, because Fury is involved in some exciting fights. Um, yeah, but I'm expecting him to come through this one. I'm expecting him to get to uh, Pykic, and I'm expecting around the seventh round for him to stop the f to get the stoppage victory. So there are my thoughts on this fight. Um, please let me know what you guys think. I'm going to leave it there. This is Boxpred and I'm out.